Tyler here with the voice of the six himself, Josh Ali. Welcome. Welcome. We just came back from Oshawa, Ontario, where we got to see the sands of time. And that was a very intense event that of one hosted. It was quite fitting though, the sands of time, because the one match literally took an hour. Time. Yep, one hour. We'll get to that yeah. later though. Yeah. But your first match of the night was the four-way elimination match for the Zero Gravity Championship. And you had four, three great competitors and one douchebag. <laughs> and you know who I'm talking Wheeler. about. Wheeler! <laughs> okay. And um, they all did spectacular, except for Wheeler, who spent more time outside the ring trying not to get hit. But it was um, the last time you see him, though. It was not the last time. Yeah. Okay, so in order of eliminations, after missing a 450 splash, uh, <laughs> Wheeler took advantage of it and got uh, BMD eliminated. BMD, that was the pick. I've seen it. That was yeah. the favorite. Then Alex Daniel managed to get rid of the douchebag <laughs> and pin eliminate Wheeler. But then after two spears, two spears through it, Shane Saber pinned Daniels to retain the Zero Gravity Championship. But after that, Alex Daniels had a few words to say, saying he's glad to have been in Alpha 1 for three years. But he promised from year one that he was going to win the Zero Gravity Championship, and he wants to make good on that promise. So, at the next event, which is February 18th, more about that later, we will have out the one so called one. real Dan Ben Affleck, <laughs> Alex Daniels, taking on Shane Saber for the Zero Gravity Championship. It is unofficial still, it has not, but we believe that's going to be your Zero Gravity match that's for good. the next one. One on event. one, not no nine on nine like, <laughs> like nine Affleck on was nine. talking about. Nine on nine. But don't give Elf one idea, they might actually do that. No, you see what happened with Space Monkey. No more ideas. Okay, the second match was your alpha female match, where you had beautiful Bia taking on the debuting Felicity, and for a good portion of the round match, Felicity was kicking the crap out of Bia by kicks to lay It was, looking good. It was looking good. Even yeah, up the baby face. Yeah, but of course. Like I said before in my previous videos, Bia is the Cena of Canada. So she hit one move, got she the hit frog the one move, then the frog splash, picked, of course. So your winner, beautiful Bia. Whoa. No surprise there. No surprise. No. But after the match, Terry went to go interview her, and Felicity attacked her from behind. That came out of nowhere. That was kind of cool. that was cool. She just came in and told Bia that she will get her revenge on her. So expect a future, another match soon to come of beautiful Bia versus Felicity, and Felicity better bloody win that match. All I'm saying. Should be a lose your job match. And then okay, so. Uh, do I really want to talk about this match now? This was not the highlight of the night. It was the low light almost. But we had the Alpha One Tag Team Titles. Sadly. Wait, tag where, team, yeah. where we had... Um, we had Western Med Connection taking on the Mean Team. And early on, Mean Team was dominating and we were all hoping for a quick victory but alas Easy e <laughs> injured his knee so the Western Med Connection um, took advantage and really targeted Easy es knee you can see the two examples they have here Oh, no. <laughs> so, based on using the tights in a roll up, Western Med retains the Alpha One Tag Team titles, and you just see the continuous spiraling down of the Alpha One Tag Team titles. The match wasn't that bad, though. It was kind of it was more it was more like a, a comedy, comedy match. match. It was entertaining. Yeah. So, but it's like 
You're Dr. Donald. No. Dr. Donald. Oh yeah, people are starting to chant <laughs> Donald Trump to uh, Donald Trump is now to uh, Dr. Dan. So people of Hamilton, next time you see Western Med Connection, chant Donald. Donald Trump. It will really <laughs> piss off Dr. Dan. Yeah. He so next, it was match after match. Now we go to the good to stuff. stuff. The, the real game. good stuff. Where you had the South Side World Championship, where you had All Ego, Ethan Page, defending his title against the godfather of Alpha One, Alessandro Del Bruno, the woman beater. And all we can say is, holy crap. That match, an amazing match, people. What an amazing match. You didn't even know who was going to win at one point. Oh. Going back and forth. Yeah, they Finisher, both. Finisher, kick out, this, that. And, but. <laughs> that could have been the main event. Honestly, oh, that kind of could have been the main event. That would have been the main event if any other time. These two, next two. This match and the next match would have been easy main events. <laughs> but near the end. Uh, but ruined what was an amazing match. You had Mark Wheeler try, and I heavily emphasize try to interfere in the match. But he even failed at that. He failed at winning the title, and he failed at interfering in the match. He couldn't even interfere properly in the match. No. So your winner, all ego, Ethan Page. All ego, all day. Then we go to the Alpha Male Championship. Lost a little surprise. Yeah. Uh, so we had Ricky Shane Page defending his title against the Bone Crusher, Steve Brown. Not the Bone Crusher, the birthday bone. bone yeah. Crusher. So we all sang happy birthday to uh, Steve Brown. There was also birthday chops. Tried to do birthday chops. <laughs> Ricky Shane Page did two and he's like, that's about it. I'm <laughs> done. But um, not only was it an alpha male championship match, with an association with Sto with word from our general ma new general manager and owner, Stokely, Stokely Hathaway, <laughs> uh, and in accordance and in, a pre um, in accordance with CCW, not only was the alpha male championship on the line, but also the CZW heavyweight At championship the same time. time. Yeah. It was and a two for one way there. We didn't even know that was going to happen. No, none of us knew that was going to happen. But that was an amazing event. <laughs> Bone Crusher's face lit up. Like, oh. like all you can eat wings. He was happy. <laughs> yeah. Two belts for one. Yeah. He and two belts around his waist anyways though. You put them both together. Yeah. But we had an, also an additional treat. We had All Ego's commentary. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hope that's a new thing. If they put that in the DVDs, it's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, for sure. But an amazing back and forth match. Those two guys took each other to the limit. Like I said, two big guys, one small ring. <laughs> two big guys, one big, one bigger guy doing cruiserweight moves out of here. Oh, yeah. See, bro? He's very uh, maneuverable for a big man. Yeah, he's athletic. And we even saw a superplex. And we honestly thought oh. the ring was going to collapse at that point. The ring, when... When Bone Crusher was up there, I thought the ring would collapse by itself right there. Yeah. Cool. That suplex. Woo! That wasn't even the best thing you've seen from the top rope yet. That no. was one of them, though. Yeah. Don't give up too many spoilers. So you gotta, you gotta okay. hype the crowd. You gotta hype the crowd. Yeah. There. But um, your winner and still alpha male and CCW champion, Ricky Shane Page. Yeah, that was solid, man. That was crazy. So then we went to, had a little bit of a break, so then we went to our main event of the evening, where you had the 60 minute Iron Man match. Um, and it was Josh Alexander versus Kobe Durst, and to what Remind we, him again, 60 minutes. minutes. And um... It was also announced, it was the number one contendership match for the Alpha Male Championship. So whoever's, and you know who just won, so Ricky St. Page waiting for the contender there, waiting for that yeah. next challenge. So, it went like Josh was kicking the ever-loving shit out of Kobe. But it was kind, of, him, it was kind it was of like a punishment. Him. Yeah, He owned him. But the first fall went to Kobe with a oh, okay. roll up out of nowhere. He was literally getting slapped, 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 beat to the pulp, and did a little, a little roll up like a little Kobe would. 
Yeah. But that kind of shocked us right there. Because yeah. that was one nothing right away, Kobe. But then, Josh Alexander picked up the next two th falls. Oh. But the third fall was the big one. It was a top rope power bomb combination then with a pile driver. It was spectacular. Time almost stopped as that was coming down. Oh man, that was a beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait that DVD when it comes out. Ooh. It's a, it's gonna be a must buy DVD, of course. Um, then Kobe picked up the next fall, tying it up to two falls apiece. So Kobe picked up the fourth fall, like I was saying, with a uh, pile driver. But also during that point, Josh might have tweaked his knee during one of it because Kobe there's really zeroed in on the knee for the first he jumped actually he kind of knew he kind of hurt the knee before yeah. a little bit yeah but then Kobe there's zeroed in on Josh's left knee like for a good portion of the remain, like see. the last 20 minutes or so of the match but he's hobbling you can the wounded weapon <laughs> <laughs> no but at the end of the day it was down to 2-2 with less than five minutes left that's where it got interesting because you never knew what could happen, but you no. we, we secretly know. Many, that. many nine counts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Near the end. But the last fall. Um Josh Alexander picked up the last fall. And but Tombstone off the top row. Yeah. So your winner and new number one contender for the Alpha Male Championship. With the three to two, Josh Alexander, yeah. the walking weapon himself. He also did challenge Col uh, Colby at the end, saying, "If you want to challenge the best, you're gonna have to step your game up." Oh yeah, for sure. Cause he's young. He he'll. Was, yeah. He's young, so like. Yeah. But but also Josh was like the reason why this match came along is because this guy Kobe <laughs> tried to say he was the best alpha male. Of all time. But Josh proved him wrong, and the crown is still with Josh Alexander. Uh, you will see in 60 minute ass with him. Yeah, and he told Kobe Durst he could go for another 60 minutes, and told him he was not ready for 60 minutes with the walking weapon. So I'm excited. I want to see if he can actually get to that level, though. Yeah. And if he could, good things for him. Yeah. So that was your um, recap of. The, the sands, sands of, of time. time, and so the, uh, the, uh, the so that was it. The next event will be happening on February 18th in Hamilton, Ontario. Woo! Keep the dream, featuring none other than the monster of <laughs> this. <laughs> Oh man. And also, while you're there, why not pick up some of the great merch Alpha One has to offer, like t shirts, either an Alpha One t shirt or one of your t shirts from one of your favorite wrestlers. Oh. DVDs, including the most recent one. Already out. That's the prize. Wrestlers Gone Wild. And also, why don't pick up some autographs from some of the uh, stars there, wrestlers there? But on a more serious note, if you see myself or Brian at any upcoming event, we will be collecting donations for Sh uh, Shawnee Mo. Yep, who, if Shawnee you Mo. haven't heard, he's been given some very bad news. Timetable, a calendar almost. Yeah, he has been given a calendar. So. From now until May, the event in May, the proof event in May, myself and Brian, if you see us at an event, we will be collecting donations. So, hashtag do it for Shawnee Mo. Do it for Shawnee Mo, Mo Money. So, don't forget to follow us on our YouTube pages. And also, don't forget to uh, like the wrestling guys where you will get all the latest information, not just about Alpha One. But about Ontario, Ontario and, uh, uh, and also California. There you go. So, this is Tyler. This is Josh. Peace out. We gone.